We're at Quiet Cool today and I'm going to go over our two speed wiring installation. This is applicable for our, our 2250, our 3100, our QC 4700, as well as in our Trident line, our 2.3 and our 3.0. Today we're going to be using our, my mock-up wall. This is, to, this is indicating the top seal plate that you'll find in the attic. We'll be dealing with the wires going into the control panel and back out to the fan as well as we're using a 2250 today as our, as our test model. In a typical installation, we're using a, an eight hour timer and a single pole three-way switch, a single Decora uh, three-way switch. That's gonna run our two speeds as well as the time function on all of the models mentioned previously. We're also going to be, going to be using an after construction cut-in two-gang box, which installed in the wall is gonna look like this. So from top to bottom, we have our seal plate in the attic, our wall that runs from the ceiling to our floor in the bedroom, and our box cut in at 60 inches, which is thermostat height. We're also using our eight hour timer, our single pole three-way switch, and the 2250 fan. Coming into the timer, we're going to use a 14-2 Romax. So we're gonna come through the seal plate, drill it through, pull the wire down and you're going to have a white, black and a ground wire that come into your timer. Coming back out of the timer, up from the switch, up the wall is going to be a 14-3 wire which will have a white, a red, a black and a ground. That's going back up to the fan. Now let me show you how you're going to wire the switch. The switch is easy. You're matching your black to black, to black. that's going to be your constant power coming from your power source into the timer, black to black. Your green is your ground, the G's go together, so green is ground, and you're gonna wire your green ground to the copper ground and have that uh, component um, grounded there. All of the white wires are, are neutral. They're a common wire. You can put all of the white wires in the connection box, in the handy box, um, in one connection and have all three of those wires um, tied up together like this. Now when you have your timer wired like that, your constant power coming in switches over to the speed control via the red switched leg. So once the power is lit up in your timer, it will energize your speed control. Now in a single pull three way, you'll have a black screw where the switch leg comes in. You'll also have a low speed, which is the brass screw on the bottom, and the high speed and ground, which is the top screw and the green screw on the other side. Just like before, you run your switch leg into the black screw, so that's your power source, and then back up the wall will be your red low speed lead, your black high speed lead, and then your ground wire to the ground screw. At the next phase of the installation, we're gonna be up in the attic space. So this is up in the installation, in the attic, and you're at the point of where the power is coming down the wall into the fan, your 14-2 wire is going to be your black, white, and ground connected to the power source. And then you're going to have your switched control wire coming back out, which is going to be your black high speed, your red low speed, your ground wire, and your common wire. That is going to be connecting to the fan. Now, depending on which unit of fan you have, you may or may not have a cord. But to run the two-speed operation, you're going to need to remove the cord if it is, if it is uh, included. That's easy as, and that's as easy as, as loosening this connection harness, taking off the plate. We're going to remove the connection nuts here, remove the wire, and we're going to have a, um, all of our leads exposed. So we'll have a black high speed lead, our red low speed lead, and our white common wire, as well as a ground wire. And there's a ground nut at, in the handy box as well that you can connect your, your copper wire to. So we're going to replace that with the, uh, with the control wires coming from the, the fan control. You'll insert that wire like that, connect this control, uh, this, con uh, this uh, clamp so that the wire can't come out and causing type of fire issues. And then once you have that in there, you're matching like to like wire. All right, we're ready to button this thing up now. Just to go over uh, review one more time. Our red is to our red, that's our low speed connection. Our white is to our white, that's our common neutral wire. And our black is to our black, which is our high speed control wire. The copper wire and the green wire are both screwed down to the ground screw at the bottom of the handy box. 
Now we'll tuck these wires in. We have our wire clamp on the back and it's grounded so um, there's no risk of fire. We'll put the plate cover back on, tighten that up, and then we'll button up these controls. With the control box, it's important with multiple connections within the box. To get the plates to fit, it's important to leave a little bit of play in these screws. So you don't want to clamp them down, you want to have a little bit of movement within them. Your quiet cool plate will fit right over the top, screw that on, and you'll have live controls. Now, you want to make sure before you get everything too tightened up that everything works. So we'll turn the timer on. Our switch is on low, so our low speed is running currently. Our high speed works as well. You set to the, de the desired time that you want the fans to run and walk away. It'll run and, and turn off when your time is over. Or you can shut the fan off by cycling through the uh, options.